good morning students uh, today we are going to start uh, practical number 8 for computer graphics subject program for two dimensional transformation we have already we have seen translation scaling today uh, we are going to start about rotation first we know need to know about the rotation basically uh, rotation means it is with the uh, some angle so it requires some angle to rotate a particular object so if you see uh, there are a number of objects are there a uh, triangle rectangle and then also line line is also considered as a one of the object so today we are going to consider a line as a object and that line has to be rotated with some angle so angle is generally measured in a theta so let's see the significance of that practical import one of the most important task in a computer graphics that is to rotate a particular object with relevant fields so that practical uh, performs uh, some program outcomes that is pos that is basic knowledge we uh, we can acquire as well as discipline knowledge as uh, it is uh, related with the object and their movement then experiments and practice obviously we are doing a program that's so it uh, it, uh, it is said engineering tools it requires tools uh, to run that program and then the communication between the object so these were the uh, program outcomes that are satisfied with the that program we are going to see the program uh, to achieve rotation of two dimensional transformation so we are going to consider a line segment to rotate that particular uh, object or line with some angle so this is the practical task and we are moving forward to uh, directly to the program so this is my program i will explain the program first we need to include header files hash include studio i.h that is uh, very much useful for uh, standard input output files are declared then hash include conio.h this file is generally used for uh, output of the program then hash include graphics.h i think for first three uh, first few practicals we have seen that what is the basic meanings of this file so i will uh, moving forward fastly graphics.h is re related with the graphical object and that is uh, uh, in bgif folder we have seen so math.h for mathematical operations let's see the function main function that is user defined function and we are we need some variables to declare first we are going to declare the required variables x1 y1 x2 y2 as we are going to use line segment so for representing any line segment we require two points that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 here these are again we require some variables so declared uh, r11 12 21 22 and th this is important as th is nothing but theta angle and we are going to rotate that particular line segment with that theta so that is important remember so these were the basic uh, things or basic variables which are required further in a program that's I, i have declared again i need to go into the graphics mode so to to that there is requirement of definition of gd and gm so that is the declaration so gd is equal to detect so detect means what it is a macro and which is used to detect a particular graphics driver then gm gm is nothing but graphics mode we have seen in a first few practicals so moving forward first line is what printf enter the coordinate of a line 
so here we required two points to draw a line so we are going to introduce or scan if x1 y1 x2 y2 as that statement indicates then we need to initialize into the graphics mode so for that we are going to use the term init graph so init graph term i will explain the first parameter indicates address of graphics driver so address of graphics driver from bjf folder again address of graphics mode and then the third parameter is what it is nothing but a graphics uh, sorry the path uh, it requires the, for enter into the initialization of graphic mode so that is the path that is required to go into the bgi folder so bgi is here so after that we are going into the actual graphics mode manje apan itun pude kay karnar ki graphics mode madhe enter zalelo hai next step is what i need to draw some object so for this program we have considered line as a object so here we need to draw that line object using line function so that is inbuilt function line so for or to draw a line we require four parameters that is x1 y1 x2 y2 so first two parameter indicates the first point of a line segment everyone knows that is x1 y1 indicates first point to draw okay and then next one is the x2 y2 is the last end point of a line so there are two end points of a line as x1 y1 and x2 y2 so that function will draw a line using that particular entered values okay so we will see in, in a output next statement is what that statement will draw a line on the computer screen next statement is printf enter the angle of rotation listen what that statement suggests enter the angle of rotation accordingly that angle of rotation your object has to be rotated so angle of rotation i will check that angle of rotation in a theta that is th so whatever may be uh, angle of rotation that is 30 degree 40 degree i will store in a variable that is th so i need to accept that theta value as scan f percent lf as it is a angle it is it requires lf then address of th so what happens that particular statement will get the angle theta in a th in this program this concept is important because these all lines we we are familiar only that particular line is what it is a one object and that is line object then i need angle so that i can rotate that particular line so moving forward these calculations are there as we are need to rotate that particular object we require that values in a cos because angle is measured in a cos sign we have no so we need to calculate four points instead of x1 y1 x2 y2 with how with some adding some angle okay we require new points instead of x1 y1 x2 y2 but by adding some theta angle in that so how it is done here i am going to use these four these four statements to add that particular angle as we are going to see in the concept rotation it requires all need to summarize that rotation uh, matrices cos theta sin theta cos minus sin theta cos theta so i am going to use these equations here as a cos theta sin theta Minus sine theta and cos theta. If you summarize the that particular terminologies of matrices, 
you will get definitely that one. Okay, I have explained that in a theory lecture as well. So, cos theta and theta, whatever may be the entered theta value, has to be multiplied with the pi value and divided by 180. So that gives one value, and which is an angle to rotate that particular x1, isn't it? So that gives uh, some rotation angle for x1. That's why I'm stored into the R11. New terminology, sine. Similar concept is used for that again. Then minus sine, if you summarize that particular matrices, then you will get cos, sine, minus sine, and then cos. So I am applying these values with the theta. So so that I will get these new terminologies are 11, 12, 21, 22. So after that, I need to apply on the x1, y1 values. So how I'm going to do, I will operate on x2. So x2 means what? Here is the x2. So that is the end point of a line segment and I will operate on that. I will operate on x2 and y2. So these are the end points of a line. I can operate for x1, y1 as well, okay? But for this program, I'm going to apply for these two parameters as x2 multiply with that, that R11, that is we have got the uh, some theta angle that is R11. So multiply with that, then minus, I will operate on Y2 again, Y2 into R12. So that value, I have calculated theta value. So whatever may be the extraction between them is stored in a XN. So these, these uh, variables are, I have declared earlier. So again, I will operate on x2, y2 for or to get value of yn. So x2, that is end point of a one line segment, x2 into r21. So applying that r21 and r22, but I am going to use addition for that particular angles and that is stored into the yn. So X and Y and these are the new points. So what I do, I'm added some values for X, X2 and Y2. I'm not going to add some values into the first point X1, Y1. So keep that X1, Y1 same in next statement. If you see that statement line. So compare these line statements, line statements with previous line statement. So in previous line, what happens? X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So in that line statement, X1, Y1 is preserved, but X2, Y2 are going to change. Here, X2, Y2 is there, and these are changed with the values Xn and Yn. So line X1, Y1, Xn, Yn. So what happens? The end point of a line has to be moved with the sum values and these some values are nothing but simply that is theta angle so we'll run that program okay no error so after that enter the coordinate of a line as x1 y1 x2 y2 so we'll enter some values 12 as a x1 then 45 as a y1 again 56 as a x2 57 as a y2 so what happens the this line will be drawn with the two end points again we need to add rotation angle so that that line has to be rotated with the point one end point so enter the angle of rotation so I will enter angle as a T. So that is what it is a TH value that is theta value. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So what happens after rotation, new line is generated and we have seen on the screen. 
that is after rotation line so this concept is what the rotation of a line or any object in a two dimensional so that is the practical number 8 and we have seen that practical i think all students are getting that particular practical thank you